October 2nd and a thrilling hunt ended up with some more tenderloin in the freezer. Growing Deer TV is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Also by Reconics, Trophy Rock, Non-Typical Wildlife Solution, Muddy Outdoor, Eagle Sea, Nikon, Winchester, Redneck Hunting Blind, Dead Downwind, Record Rack, Boxworthy Outdoors, Set Master, Antler Dirt. There's not a lot of days with an east wind here at the Proving Grounds, so we don't have a lot of stand set for an eastern wind. Adam and I took advantage at east wind to scout and hunt North Boone. We have a Reconyx not too far from the stand, up fairly high on the tree, and we've got it on time lapse, so it's taking a picture every five minutes from 6 to 9 a.m. to 6 to 9 p.m. The images from that time lapse series gave Adam and I a lot of confidence going into that stand. As the evening progressed, we ended up seeing a total of 10 deer, including a couple two and a half year old bucks. None of the deer fed within shooting range, but it was a great afternoon and it gave us a lot of MRI, most recent information for when the wind shifted and we could hunt the other end. We have a redneck blind set in the middle of a field we call Big Boone. One concern about having a redneck blind in the middle of a big food plot is because there's windows all around so the hunter has great viewing area, the deer can also see in and possibly detect movement when they're silhouetted in an open field. As usual, redneck has the answers and they have curtains that fit very easily over the windows, a camouflage one so you can see through but the deer really can't see in, or an all black one that will black out the back of the blind so deer possibly can't see movement coming from the other side. As a testimony of the soundproof and scentproof qualities of a redneck blind, as Adam and I were in there talking and working, a yearling buck came out 100 yards or so away and walked and fed all the way past us in the blind. As that front moved through and the winds changed, Brian and I had an opportunity to go back to North Boone. We got in the stand quiet and fairly early and we're feeling really good about this hunt. Based on the Reconyx pictures and the previous evening, I really assumed the deer were going to come out to the left of our stand. But deer being deer, as Brian and I were sitting there, we heard the deer approaching from right behind us. It's these situations that really test your scent control. Brian and I went in that stand planning on one wind, but as the evening came on, the wind swirled a little bit, and the deer and the wind came from the opposite direction. I'm a huge fan of taking the first clean possible shot opportunity, but it just wasn't happening and the deer started throwing their head up looking towards the back of the field. A larger doe and another fawn entered and kind of caused all the deer to be shifting around and we ended up with two deer bedded down in the back of the field and one doe that just wouldn't give me a shot opportunity.
Extremely long, intense hunt. Backstrap tonight for Miss Tracy. Oh, man. Great hunt this afternoon. Miss Tracy told me to add some more tenderloins and ham to the freezer. That was my mission. Mission accomplished. An evil scientist going to get the tea. Using Foxworthy's hanging judge. The only problem with it, it's so accurate, you can't lie to your buddies. 114.6 pounds, whole weight. It's now October and seasons are open in almost every state in America. I hope you have a chance to get out, do some preparation, go hunting, take a moment to think about creation and the creator. Thanks for watching, growingdeer.tv.